Good morning. I'm Brian DeYoung, and this is my wife, Marge. We're here to do a devotional for the Foundry Church. Um, I will begin by reading uh, from 1 Samuel 1, 21 through 28. When her husband, El Elkanah, went up with all his family to offer the annual sacrifice to the Lord and to fulfill his vow, Hannah did not go. She said to her husband, After the boy is weaned, I will take him and present him before the Lord, and he will live there always. Do what seems best to you, her husband Elkanah told her. Stay there until you have weaned him. Only may the Lord make good his word. So the woman stayed at home and nursed her son until she had weaned him. After he was weaned, she took the boy with her, young as he was, along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine, and brought him to the house of the Lord at Shiloh. When the bull had been sacrificed, they brought the boy to Eli. And she said to him, Pardon me, my Lord, as surely as you live, I am the woman who stood here beside you praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child, and the Lord has granted me what I asked of him. So now I give him to the Lord. For his whole life he will be given over to the Lord. And he worshiped the Lord there. As a mother, my heart always goes out to Hannah when I read this account of her and her small son. Can you imagine the grief that surrounded her as she waved goodbye to her son for the last time? This was Hannah's vow, but it wasn't a vow that God required her to make. So great was her grief over being barren that this vow somehow seemed necessary to Hannah. I'm struck with how pure Hannah's heart was before God. It's something like the sacrifice that was required from Abraham with his son Isaac in Genesis 12. Only this time, <clears throat> Hannah offered this as a vow, not as a requirement. Hannah had waited a long time for God to fill her womb. Yet once she made this impassioned plea at the temple, God saw fit to give her a child within the year. I think the average person, after receiving their answer to a long-awaited prayer, might think, thank you, Lord, for answering our prayer. Now bless us as we raise this lovely child you've given us. And then they would continue on with their lives, but not Hannah. Hannah's heart belonged to God. When she poured out her heart to God, she purposed in her mind to honor her promise, regardless of the cost. Hannah waited and received exactly what she asked for. But that's not always the case in prayer, is it? When you ask God for something, do you have the faith to believe God is able to do it? And are you willing to wait for the answer? Are you prepared that God's answer may not be exactly as you asked for it? And will you trust him regardless of his answer? I hope you'll wrestle through these uh, questions as you draw near to your Savior this week. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to being in church with all of you again someday. Um, have a great week.